I want to say uh, 12 to 13 features or abnormalities were investigated up here. Um, you can see that what we've done, since this was at one point an agricultural farmland site, the topsoil has been plowed, has been churned up. So rather than not wasting time, but taking time to look at that, um, there are artifacts in that topsoil, but they've been di displaced. So we removed the topsoil. So surrounding this area, you'll see mounds. That is the topsoil. We do plan on screening that soil at some point and recovering those artifacts that are in there. Um, but you'll see the mounds on the outside. They're the topsoil that has been removed. And then what you're looking at is the clay subsoil layer. So at that layer, no disturbance should take place underneath. And if so, whether it be animal or human, obviously we're interested in the human disturbance, that's <coughs> deciphered or determined at that point. But when we peel back that topsoil, that subsoil is like a yellow orangish color, and the disturbance in that soil changes it to dark brown to black. So it's very easy to identify what subsoil has been disturbed and then if you see 90 degree angles, corners, that's a great indication of human disturbance, right? Because nature kind of just flows, it's circular, it just goes with it. 90 degree angles, corners, that's more human. So this area was deemed very um, a high percentage of results and artifacts and features. So this is the place we chose to primarily investigate in terms of Warwick Town, there's that front field site, but that's relating more to the Civil War right now. Um, we did find evidence of Warwick Town that dates to Warwick Town through metal, ceramic artifacts. Um, we will be going up there and taking a look at it, but I just wanted to give you an overview of what you're looking at. You'll see it's kind of densely um, growing with vegetation. That's because not a lot of vegetation can grow in clay. It's not a very nutrient-rich environment. So that's why you don't see grass in here and it looks almost desert-like. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do, there's two ways to enter the site. I think for the beginning we're just going to stay on the outside and walk up to that corner and then enter through there. But once we get done, we'll be down here, we'll exit through the bottom corner. But it's more, I think, it works with the program if we go up to that top corner first. Um, from your digging so far, is the indication going further inland with some interesting sites? And if so, have y'all contacted the owner of that land that buffers? Well, right behind what you can see in the tree line, uh -huh. we slope down. Okay. So the topography slopes down. We know that it's uh, unlikely that people build on slopes. Okay. In, in the archaeological wor world, if you're on survey and a slope is more than five to ten percent depending on company mm -hmm. um, you don't even shovel test there because you know at that slope no one really would put a house there mm -hmm. um, that being said it does slope down into a low-lying area and then it goes into residential yeah um, from all our investigations thus far it doesn't look like there's much out there okay. that's not saying there isn't mm -hmm. but from what we've looked into what we were choose to investigate is going out towards the water that way, right. the high bluff to the right. The okay. GPR did huh. pick up on some abnormalities out there, right. but at the time when we were choosing which ones to explore and investigate, it just was in a low priority mm -hmm. um, and didn't make the cut this round. Okay. Um, tying into that, you'll see this dig where we did choose to investigate because on the GPR we noticed four or five rectangular -ish abnormalities all at the same four to six depth level kind of in a pattern and if anybody can guess we feared or we thought that there might be human burials there um, not that that's anything bad or anything to It'll fear from there. quite often but with uh, these burials they were aligned east to west kind of with um, more religious um, beliefs and um, cultural standards so, not that finding burials is bad or anything, um, it's a lot more work, it's tedious work, it's a lot more paperwork, um, and you have to be very delicate, and it's a time-consuming effort. And of course, you have to be respectful of the individual and all that as well. So, we were happy that they weren't burials. It turns out it was nothing that, it was more agricultural or irrigation marks. Um, 
that were picked up. So once that was determined, uh, we stopped digging at that point on that location as well. But you will see an open excavation area and that's what was opened up there. But this is loom and that is clay. So um, this is loom good. I can plant a plant right here. Yeah, I mean, this is but, kind of a dirt path. But this pathway. is all clay here. So is that a mountain? Could that be a result of a mountain? Well, there was, there was um, topsoil on top that we removed and that was good for growing. This was used for agricultural purposes, and oh. because of the plow scarring, we did remove the topsoil. But no, this area was used for, um, I don't know exactly what they grew here, but it was used for growing, you know. Oh, a lot, every vegetable they grew here. They, yeah. they, it was self-sufficient and they sold to make money. They sold their vegetables to anyone who could get here. I mean, this was considered and this was out of everybody's reach, a day trip from New Canoes. So, but they did sell and it was self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the ground did prove um, <coughs> healthy for product. Mm -hmm. um, any other questions just general about the uh, dig? I'm trying, I know I'm jumping all over and I'm kind of scatterbrained sometimes, but I think we're all on the same path. Through previous archeological work, through modern GPR surveys, we determined what areas we chose to investigate. Through those results, we found two components, um, a Civil War component and a Worktown component, as well as the domestic component of the landowner that took over once Worktown went into demise. Just a brief history, history on Worktown. 1680, the House of Burgesses wants to create port towns to ship back goods to England. 1690, we have documentation that at least three buildings are present, one being brick. So uh, by 1800, something's changed in society. Anybody want to take a guess? That would cause this location to not be as beneficial? Ah, back, oh yeah, you're absolutely right back there. The roadways took over. <laughs> oh, okay, Warwick Town, or I'm sorry, Warwick Road, right? Mm -hmm. That came into effect and it was much more accessible for everyone else. Instead of coming out here to go to the courthouse for all the courthouse needs, um, which was a very long trip, as you mentioned, um, so it was petitioned in, here? the courthouse was located here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Until about when it was petitioned around 1800, it started being petitioned to be moved, and then you find it now in the Worktown Historical Complex, courthouse uh, complex, on Old Courthouse Way. Yeah. So that's where it was moved. So the waterways weren't as beneficial because people started using the roads more. This became, you know, a difficulty in getting to. Um, so it was eventually moved. At that point, it went back into a domestic type situation, farmland and uh, one owner kind of property. Is there any evidence of where, I don't know, were there docks right down there? We, we don't have any evidence that we found so far. I mentioned that uh, investigation that turned out to be a drain line from the prison. We were kind of hoping that would be uh, a dock location because the kind of, the way the topography is, it would make perfect sense to run one off there. So That's not a high bank? Well, it's a depression right there. Oh, okay. Uh, if you look out yeah, on the bluff, right along in here, yeah. um, at some point, shoreline restoration has taken place on that corner bluff. So that's where they reshape the edge and put fabric on and boulders to prevent erosion. So we don't know what was lost during that, um, unfortunately. Um, again, with the foundation of the jail, we're hoping that when we do take the foundation up, more information can be found through that. Of course, um, there's constant erosion on that bluff forever. Yeah. Well, not um, forever, but for a long time. So It's interesting if you walk the bluff, and you're not allowed to, but if you do, <laughs> you can find one area where they deposited all the cow bones. And it's uh -huh. Uh -huh. a tree's grown, so like cow bones are all popping up. It's In terms of me, it's, it's a unique yeah. and not, you know, uh -huh. dreary yeah. or dreadful <laughs> kind of. It's just, you know, it's very Proteins interesting. But yes. Good Halloween site. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Get a little ghost walk tour up yeah. here. It's funny, going off of that, and there is, I won't bring it up if people are offended, but there is an animal carcass right near us right now. And basically scavenger animals will bring like dead animals and food up here and eat them. And during the archeological dig when we had like 10 to 15 techs out here, um, a deer skull 
and spinal cord was found <laughs> positioned right on a backfill pile. <laughs> and, uh, some of the individuals working were like, kind of like set back, like, is this a sign? Is this a warning? Like, is someone coming to plant this? And um, do we need to call the park rangers? And I'm like, no, it's scavenger animals. They're the high ground. They want to be able to see. They're just enjoying their meal in this beautiful setting. I'm like, if it happens, two more times in the same spot then we got <laughs> then we got something but no that's just you know the the turkey vultures right or other birds right? so yeah but we can start walking we're gonna again it's be careful of the terrain but just walk on the outside we're gonna walk up to that corner and then we'll go get into the site um, the brick foundation site that we've uncovered um, just hold off going into the site when we get up there until I get up there and I'll go over a couple things before we enter